again, but it feels different. Surprised I can pull you into this place? The outsider marked me long ago. I made you flee your precious tower and turned Emily into cold stone. How difficult for you. But when I was young, sweet Jessamine and I were closest sisters, sharing a secret. Emperor Caldwin had another daughter, born in shame to a kitchen maid. What's she playing at? Maybe how is the question? go back to the servants' quarters to cockroaches and thin gruel. Emperor Daddy would visit and tell me if I was good. Next year, I'd be old enough to come to court to be a princess. Then one day, pretty Jessamine broke something worth a fortune, and the spymaster caught us. She claimed I did it, and he whipped me in the garden house until I bled. My mother lost her kitchen job, and that night we were out on the street with no place to sleep. I didn't break it. Would you like to tell me what you We were just playing. Just... What's your account? It was her! Delilah's lie! She broke it! debtor's prison. Jessamine died quick on an assassin's blade, but my mother lingered for weeks after a fat guard broke her jaw. They threw me out when she died. I looked up at the lights of Dunwall Tower and swore revenge. Washing bedsheets in a brothel, I painted on the side, until Anton Sokolov took me as a student. That's the polite word for it. I was crafty even before the Outsider marked me, and survived the worst the Empire could offer. Now, it's your turn. My mother's sick. She needs help. Your mother kicked off while you were out begging. She's another bag of bones now, girl. What? No! Your sentence is served and you'll be tossed out with the others. You can't stay here anymore. How much of this is true, and how much is Delilah's warped imagination? Fifteen years ago, the Loyalist Conspiracy asked me to kidnap Anton Sokolov, and I did. I took him from his home to the pub we were hiding in, and locked him in a cage meant for dogs. And you know what? He laughed at us. He told dirty stories taught Emily more than her governess could in six months. He seemed immortal. His mind shaped our age. That's changed. The old man I rescued doesn't talk much. He eats what we give him, groans in his sleep, coughs out blood. I'm not even sure he knows where he is. Even in the void, if only I could do more. 
Jessamine? Delilah's stronger now. Am I to blame for Delilah's bitterness? Of course not. She's driving all of this. Our decisions have weight. I feel my time drawing to an end. Soon. his age, Sokolov's making better progress than I would have expected. Good to see that you're still with us. Thank you for helping Anton. Sokolov's not the only one making a rapid recovery. I'll be good enough to leave soon. There's a lot to do. Of course, unless the Duke falls, He'll undo my best efforts here. I'm working on that. Believe me, the Duke has my full attention. Karnaka's key leaders are flawed for certain. After all, this is settled with the Duke, and the time of the coup has passed. Whichever ones are left standing could change things here. Consider that, as you come face to face with the Duke's remaining associates. I'll do what I can, Alexandria. I wish there was something I could remember to help in your efforts. Megan is worried that someone will see us coming and going. I might depart soon. Anton and I are both in your debt. Jindos wanted me to help him with a rather complicated problem. It would have enabled him to make his clockwork soldiers at a fraction of the cost. Clever man. Not clever enough. What's wrong with people like that? A restless mind and an empty heart, perhaps. Jindosh would have snuffed me out as soon as he got bored. I appreciate what Corvo did for me, freeing me from that place. I searched for you, Anton. I would have found you. I knew you'd try, Megan. They kept me going after they gave me to Jindosh. Either way, you're back now. I'm glad. Cool, though. Oh, the Royal Protector has risen. A bad night? Maybe you've been sleeping on goose feathers too long. Sit down when you want to talk. Anton, when I brought you back, you could barely speak, but it's been three days. They tortured him. His body is covered with bruises. Delilah has the throne and she has Emily. Anton, once we had you in a cage and you dared us to kill you, I need that man back. Kovo, she's right. I can make electricity move from one side of the room to the other. But Delilah is beyond my understanding. When I came to Sirkonos, I meant to leave everything behind. But when the assassination started, I couldn't ignore it. By the time Megan and I connected the murders to the Duke, it was too late. The Crown Killer came for me. It kept me alive from my knowledge, but I saw things. Jindosh often had a visitor, Brianna Ashworth. The curator of the Royal Conservatory. Yes, Ashworth is dangerous, as obsessed with the occult as Delilah. Apparently, she's working on a device called the Oraculum. There's more to her than either of you know. If Ashworth is one of Delilah's lieutenants, I need to eliminate her. Who knows what this device is capable of, or what she's up to.
There's a spark in your eyes. Something other than hate, which surprises me given all that's happened. Maybe I should begin a series of bloodfly-related sketches, infested corpses and the like. I've never paid a visit to the Royal Conservatory, but allegedly it has a number of unique pieces. The familiar creaks and groans of the dreadful whale. I lie awake listening, just to remind myself I'm safe again. Meet me at the skiff when you want to set out for the Royal Conservatory. Ashworth has an interest in the occult. That's a snotty way to put it. In another life, you might be facing me along with her. Head to the skiff when you're ready, Corvo. Delilah's cult must be thrilled she's got the throne. But she wouldn't piss on them if they were on fire. Jessamine's face has never faded from my memory. Could Delilah truly be her sister? I painted that from memory, which is a tricky thing. But I must admit to seeing some of the old Emperor's features in her face. It was long ago when I took Delilah in, whipped thin, angry and brilliant. But her obsession with the occult and the Caldwin family took her out of my circles. Delilah's paintings are chaotic, but she sculpts much better than you, Anton. You knew Delilah? When were you going to tell me? When you needed to know. My past is none of your business, Royal Protector. Another lifetime. We all came to Karnaka for our own reasons, Corvo. Megan had hers too. I'm sure you understand the need for secrets. And humbled. And it's all still there, 
in his mind. Every formula, every equation, harder and harder to recall. In his dreams, he sees the names and faces of every subject he experimented on. In the name of progress, they would flock to his lectures. When, when all the seats were full, they would line the hallways, straining to hear. Hypatia, Jindosh, all the great minds of today owe him a debt. When Jindosh held him, Sokolov believed he would die. And then it changed him. He is so tired. He was remembering the great voyage he took by sea. So many men lost reaching Pandisia. Burning wastes. Anton, how great you were. Rest now, my friend. If he has any other secrets, they are hidden from me. Jindosh won't be making his army of clockwork soldiers. Unusual that Delilah would be working with another occultist like Ashworth. Huh. Shudder to the public. Wonder what's going on inside the Royal Conservatory. The Duke's incompetence? Or something more suspicious? The closest path to the Royal Conservatory should be through Syria Gardens. We'll take the skiff. I don't want to bring the dreadful whale any closer than we have to. There is a small dock in Syria Gardens, close to the conservatory. That's as far as I can take you. Ready to go? Yes, let's go. There will be a Grand Guard presence outside the Royal Conservatory. Inside, be prepared for anything. Ashworth runs with an eclectic crowd. They'll be the real danger. Someday I'd like to know more about how you met Ashworth. I know you would. Trust me, Ashworth is important to Delilah. Which brings up something else. You might be able to exploit the Abbey of the Everyman in removing Ashworth from play. Turns out the Vice Overseer in Karnaka has been watching Ashworth from a hidden outpost near the Royal Conservatory. Check it out first if you want more options. Remember, if she's still working with Delilah, Ashworth is a grave threat. Thanks, Megan. See you soon. Our furniture workshop. How long do we have to leave? As long as it takes. We'll be picking up balusters and spindles made of Sirconan Umberwood. I thought the old Duke Theodanus outlawed Umberwood export to protect the trees. I can't keep track of all the decrees. 
My client's refurbishing her gazebo, adding an exotic southern touch. I don't get it. When I went to Dunwall, I brought back a Rivercross shell to use as an ashtray. Because it reminds me of good times. But what's the point of buying wood from a country you never visited? Lady Shersha has money, so she gets the wood she wants. If you can find Burns' spying setup, he's probably collected some useful notes about whatever Ashworth is up to. Brianna Ashworth is a true believer. She'll never turn away from Delilah. I'll meet you back here when it's done. Keep your head down and you might avoid a bloodbath. Delilah's coven crossed paths with my old gang 15 years back. It was a bad time. some no-gooder with a knife. Why me? Hmm. Someone looks armed and dangerous. Lucky day, madam. It's the day you get to meet Pirate Betty in person. Time to pay the price if you want to live. Oh, no, please! I have nothing. I'm just a poor maid. I see you've heard the stories about Pirate Betty, about all the terrible things I've done to the fools who refuse to give up some trinket or a bag of coins. Have mercy! Don't hurt me! Should I start by cutting off your nose? No. Or maybe I could sign my name across your forehead with a knife. Use you as a human billboard. Help! Murderer! <sighs> All right, no one's coming. What a bunch of cowards. We'll try it again later. Door. When the void was at noise. Huh? S Sorry, we're closed. All right, we're open, but please make it quick. Welcome to my shop. Say, an acquaintance of mine is supposed to be holed up in an office overlooking the Royal Conservatory. Check on them if you're headed that way. I check myself, but the streets are locked down. I'd make it worth your time. No, think about it. See anything you like? Welcome back. Please, take your time. I look forward to the day when I can reopen. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Excellent choice. No need to wrap it for you, I suppose. Certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. <clears throat> this
visit again soon. And keep a close watch on your coin. Anna Ashworth, curator of the Royal Conservatory. For a while, I believed Ashworth had some connection to the occult in Karnaka. Something is happening that I don't understand. The overseers are the forward face of the Abbey, but equally important are our sisters from the Oracular Order. To be direct, I suspect something is wrong within their sect. Subtle changes to the types of proclamations they've been making. Small but troubling deviations from tradition. But publicly saying anything along those lines will get me accused of heresy by my rivals within the Abbey. Is it possible that Ashworth has infiltrated the Oracular Order? So Vice Overseer Byrne thinks Ashworth is interfering with the Oracular Order. If true, it's another reason she has to be eliminated. officer came by and said it was fine. He looked at the wall of light, then climbed up to check the windmill. All good. Why? Yesterday, the wind kicked up so hard I thought the windmill was gonna fall apart. The wall of light was flickering and sparking like crazy. I've seen that too. But whale oil's expensive now, and the tanks run dry. The wind's unpredictable, but it's still better than a bunch of howlers running through the checkpoint and knifing us to death. Yeah, I see your point. <laughs>
what happened to Pearlton and Lieutenant Culver's? They probably ran off, you ask me. Must have had a thing for each other. No, she went missing a day before he did, and someone found an officer's pistol in the gutter. I think something else happened. Maybe they went inside the conservatory. Look, Karnak is leaking people. We tell ourselves we're keeping it together, but everyone is afraid of what will happen when it really falls apart. city. Brianna Ashworth would have been miserable as a member of high society, forced to win some bloated baker. Her only moments of real freedom, getting drunk at fancy balls, and slipping away to couple with strangers. It would have ended in an unhappy marriage and a late night plunge into an icy river. But just before mother and father married her off, so many years ago, she found Delilah instead. It was all highways and graveyards after that. Never looking back. Vice Overseer Byrne is an ambitious man, but he believes in the Abbey's mission, protecting the good people of the Empire against the likes of us. You know he'd be happier deep down if this ended with Brianna Ashworth's head on a spike. Maybe yours as well.
Melinda, you look great. Enrico said to give you his regards. That donkey-faced cretin can open his wrist for all I care. Did you bring me something? The silver cigarette case, like we agreed? No, listen. I can't go on doing this. Stealing for you. I'll lose my job. Do you want to be a servant all your life? You're always talking about leaving Karnaka on a big white boat, never to come back. You spend your days polishing silver cutlery. Come with me, Beatrix. Let's leave. Could we really get passage on a ship? What if they find us? You know I'll protect you. Just like when we were kids. I'll think about it. I promise. Dear Stomach, I have received your request and agree that dinner time cannot come quickly enough. Unfortunately, we are still on duty. I will get back to you if I... Conservatory. What do those walls hide? Let me, let me, by 
the grand circle of the car. Let me answer all of this rabble-rousing at once. Disloyalty and sedition will not be tolerated. Look at Duncan Bale. Look at Duncan Bale. He's a patriot. A man who won't stop the silly to turn every bit of this land into silver into shiny coins. I asked him to double the number of my workers, and he did it. No question. No question. No complaints. No complaints. Arnaka needed miners, and he produced them. Out of thin air! That's the Sirconian spirit. That's what we need. Yeah, the water gets nasty sometimes. It flows from the fountain to the conservatory basement. There was work there, but there's a grate missing. Maybe some animal crawled in there and died. Disgusting. You'd think someone inside the conservatory would complain. The place is mostly shut, but somebody's still inside. There was a delivery from Jindosh Clockworks a few days back. Whatever they're doing, I'd be happier if the gate wasn't so close to that fountain. Conservatory. Built around the time I left for Dunwall. Constant noise. 
At least they keep the curious away. Our mistress likes them where they are, so you'll have to tolerate them. Yes, but sometimes I want to smash them into a bloody pulp, just to enjoy the silence. Is this a riddle? We're talking about the Grand Guard, right? Not the lovely blood flies. Of course. The blood flies adore us. We should find more of the newly dead, so they can make new nests. Then I agree. But dear Brianna wants us to wait until after the communion. Until she's finished with the oracular sisters. We can't risk raising suspicion now. Then for now we'll wait. Content with the nests we have. Ashworth's journal might tell me more about why Delilah can't be killed. After Delilah fell to the assassin Dowd, her magic was lost, and the coven scattered. I made a new life in Karnaka. Then I heard her whispering from the void, leading me to the Duke, who heard those same whispers. Together we worked to bring Delilah back into the world, changing the Empire from the home of Aramis Stilton three years ago. Across the Isles, all of us who'd been with her at Brigmore and before, we felt the magic return. Others joined. New faces, new blood. Now, Delilah is immortal. Forever. She holds Dunwall, and we've turned to corrupting the oracular order. The overseers take guidance from their prophetic sisters, and soon we'll influence their dreams and visions. Slithering things in the hours before dawn. Former milkmaids and magistrates, come before me and bow, for I am Delilah, your queen. All hail Delilah, the moon in the sky and the mist lying over the lake like a blanket. Amelia, dear, if Brianna hears you and her mood is off, you're going to lose an eye making fun like that. She's only having fun, Francesca. And Brianna's too busy with the communion to be bothered. She's got her mind on the sisters of the oracular order. Yes, because otherwise the Abbey will see us all blackened by fire. 
Now stop with this nonsense. She wanted to raise the blood briar, but cannot. <sighs> After trying to make Gravehounds for weeks, she gave up. You should have seen the twisted things she made. All snouts and teeth and tails. That's just the way it is, dear Parmelia. Delilah wears the Outsider's mark, and some of what she can do flows down to us. It doesn't seem fair. Think about working your fingers raw, weaving nets, or raising cows to slaughter. Any of the gifts we receive is better than living under the boot. That's true and fine. A wise way to look at things. But it won't help Lucinda rise any higher in Delilah's favor.
Brianna was busy with something elaborate just before Delilah came to Karnaka. I wanted to know what it was. I'm teasing Tamina. I read it too. Do you think Delilah really could have done that? I've heard the same stories about Paolo the Howler. What you've heard about Paolo is not the same. He's a street orphan, full of tricks. But I have faith Delilah could do such a thing. Coming back? It doesn't seem possible. That's all. My dear Orlando, some people see doors where you and I only see walls. that way drove you mad, and how glad you were to take it down. To Jindosh? I'm told he's a gibbering idiot now. I don't know, Delilah. Forgive me. No, my dear. It's a loss. But I doubt he had anything more to give us. Sokolov was taken away as well. Who would want that ancient fool? Never mind. How goes the communion? I am hungry to whisper into the ears of the oracular sisters. My influence grows. Last night, I walked through a dream with one of them, and we drank from a fountain in the town where she was born. Vice Overseer Burns' suspicions were right. won't affect things. No. He continued to take her with the lenses. Thicker, thinner, more opaque. It was time for to watch. I still have the old lenses and cast-off parts piled in my workshop, but Jendash finished some time ago. The rest is up to me, learning to use the machine. The tricky thing, touching the void through such a device. Blood and biscuits. I look forward to using it myself once you're ready. Will you visit soon? Perhaps. Dunwall Tower is mostly in hand. The High Overseer won't be a problem anymore. And there's the matter of my own project. I grow more excited with each brushstroke. When I come to Karnaka, we'll drink an ocean of good wine and stay tight as a boiled owl. I look forward to it. For now, I need your eyes on the Duke. At least until we have the sisters under control. There's no one else I trust. I'll reach out to you again on the morrow. Farewell. Goodbye, Delilah, my Empress. ask Brianna to make an effigy of me. You mean like this tangle of skin and bones representing one of the Dunderheads from the Oracular Order? Yes. I'd keep it in my chambers. Next you have bizarre yes. taste, my dear Clarissa. Um, I wouldn't want to see well, myself like that. Six? I'd rather have my portrait Three. painted by Delilah. There's a quality to Brianna's style I prefer. Touched by something from deep down in the mud where there's no light. The endless womb and the cold, dead grave. 
both the same. But Brianna's effigies let her reach into the mind, into the heart. Wouldn't you be afraid she'd influence your dreams? Like she's going to do to the Sisters of the Abbey? That's part of the thrill, sister. Bryce, that's the part I want. <laughs> Jindosh was insane. How does this even work? Sabotage Ashworth's communion device, she'll be powerless. Who is this man Kieran Jindosh? And what power does he hold over Brianna? Are they lovers? Perhaps, but that wouldn't give him any power over Brianna. Jindosh is an ally, an agent of the Duke, gifted in the ways of natural philosophy. Together, they've built something that can pierce the void itself. I've never seen Brianna work with machines. She's always relied on precious bones and ivory, carved in a room with no light, painted with ash and moon's blood. Not lenses and silver cogs covered in stinking grease. This is a special endeavor important to Delilah. You think no one can harm us, but the Overseers and the Sisters of the Oracular Order are fanatics dedicated to stopping us from living the lives we want. So why use their own machinery? These music boxes, even when torn apart, they'll bring us bad luck. I don't like it. Jindosh and Brianna know what they're doing. Their collaboration is unusual, but it pleases Delilah, and it's Brianna's obsession. So it is then. Let's hope that cursed mechanism doesn't pull us all into the void. Something crafted by apostate hands. 
as he stays on the fingernails. Long line of fingernails. Not blood, no, not wine either. It is the ink from a squid. A squid caught in the cold, cold waters above the world. The western corner of Tibia, by sailors from the Gone. Caught in a long line of red silk, drawn up from the dark waters of the No, not you, sir. Not you, sir, though. But I see the long, lovely hands again, stained by the ink, raising the knife out of a box made of color pink. I cannot see what is contained within, but the King of Morning is there, in the room with the others, while his queen sleeps in their bed. That set of lenses could be switched with the lenses in the device. Looks like Karen Jindosh made these alternate lenses for Ashworth's device. Now I can use them to sabotage it.
now to activate it and sever Ashworth's connection to the void. All that's left to do is hit the switch, and Ashworth should be powerless. things I could do. The touch of the void. The lava. It was everything I had. Please, no. I'm no threat to you now. To anyone. As if you could ever hide your face from me, Royal Protector. I see you there, back in the city that spawned you. It's done. Brianna Ashworth is no longer a witch. You villain! You don't even know what you've done. A great bloom wilts and fades from the world. This is only the start. You've pissed all over everything, but you'll pay for it. Oh, Brianna. I don't believe we will speak again. The thought of seeing you reduced to such a pale, sad thing. It's too much to bear. I hate you for this, Corvo Atano. I wonder, if you didn't have hate, Delilah, what would you have? I meant nothing to my fine family. Beyond an advantageous marriage and years of childbearing, they promised me to a man three times my age who wheezed on about our wedding night. But a curious thing happened on the way to the altar, Delilah. From the first time I slipped out of the manor in the dead of night, there was no returning to my cage. Looking at the stars and drinking wine on a rooftop, I was free. Instead of seeing the overseers for marriage, I visited my father's banker and raced away from my old life toward Delilah. Those were the coven's glory days.
locked up in the conservatory where no one can see them. Truly a shame. Huh? S sorry, we're closed. All right, we're open, but please make it quick. Welcome back. I see you found the prototype. Your acquaintance didn't make it. It is a risky line of work, I'm afraid, but let's not dwell. I expect you'll be interested in payment. First your finder's fee, of course, and if you like, I can draw up some schematics based on the prototype, something you can use to modify your tools. And as a token of my appreciation, a discount at the shop. A fair deal. Come in, my friend. Always a delight to see you. Let's see. I have some upgrade plans for your gear. An excellent choice. I'm certain you will be satisfied with your purchase. Farewell, and do take care out on the streets. So it's done. Ashworth won't be a problem anymore. Good. But Corvo, there's something else. Back when I lived in Dunwall, I did things that I'm not proud of. You live long enough, that happens. Yeah. But what I did is worse than most. I knew Delilah and Ashworth. Bought into their bullshit. Which led me down a bad road. To be honest, before all this, I thought Delilah dead. I don't want to get into it right now, but I felt like you should know. There are things I regret, Corvo. Whatever happened in Dunwall was a long time ago, Megan. I wish it felt like that. Seems like yesterday. Are you ready to leave now? Yes, let's go. Take me back to the dreadful whale. Another step toward the Duke of Sirkonos and Delilah. 